Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter, geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 36, Issue 12, titled, Stopping the Harms of Automated Decision Making. This issue was published in September 2024, and I'm your host, membership advocate Christian Romero. Let's start with our top features. First up, Americans are uncomfortable with automated decision making. Imagine a company you recently applied to work at used an artificial intelligence program to analyze your application to help expedite the review process. Does that creep you out? Well, you're not alone. And for our last feature, EFF and 140 other organizations call for an end to AI use in immigration decisions. EFF, Just Futures Law, and 140 other groups have sent a letter to Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas that the Department of Homeland Security must stop using artificial intelligence tools in the immigration system. With that, let's go through some EFF updates. First up, EFF calls for release of Alexei Soldatov, father of the Russian internet. We are deeply concerned that this is a politically motivated prosecution. Next up, the French detention, why we're watching the telegram situation closely. EFF is closely monitoring the situation in France in which Telegram CEO Pavel Durov was charged with having committed criminal offenses, most of them seemingly related to the operation of Telegram. This situation has the potential to pose a serious danger to security, privacy, and freedom of expression for Telegram's 950 million users. Next up, copyright is not a tool to silence critics of religious education. Copyright law is not a tool to punish or silence critics. That's why EFF is helping defend an Indiana man against a copyright infringement suit by LifeWise, Inc. Next up, protests related to arrests do not justify dragnet device and digital data searches. The Constitution prohibits dragnet device searches, especially when those searches are designed to uncover political speech. EFF explained in a Friend of the Court brief filed in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit. Our last EFF update ends in a victory. California bill to impose mandatory internet ID checks is dead, and it should stay that way. Thank you to our supporters for helping us kill this wrong-headed bill, especially those of you who took the time to reach out to your legislators. And now let's go through some announcements. First up, the EFF Awards are here. Tune into the live stream of the EFF Awards ceremony at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time on Thursday, September 12th. Carolina Botero, Connecting Humanity, and 404 Media will receive the 2024 EFF Awards for their vital work, ensuring that technology supports freedom, justice, and innovation for all people. And Fansplaining co-host and the Rec Center co-curator, Elizabeth Minkle, will deliver the keynote address. Next up, EFF Livestream Series, How to Protest with Privacy in Mind. Do you know what to do if you're subjected to a search or arrest at a protest? Join EFF at 10 a.m. Pacific Time on Thursday, October 17th for a free live stream discussion about how to protect your electronic devices and digital assets before, during, and after a demonstration. Learn how you can avoid confiscation or forced deletion of media, and keep your movements and associations private. For our last announcement, EFF at TechCrunch Disrupt. EFF is excited to be at TechCrunch Disrupt from October 28th through October 30th in San Francisco for the first time. Stop by the EFF booth in the Expo Hall to chat with our team about the latest developments in defending digital freedom for all. Digital freedom supporters can even get a 35% discount off any ticket type by using code EFF35 when registering online. We'll see you there. Next up, we're seeking applications for the Spring 2025 Intern Class. EFF legal internships provide law students with a unique opportunity to develop valuable skills and real-world experience while working with a nationally recognized public interest law firm. Legal interns learn from and assist EFF staff attorneys in all aspects of litigation. EFF's docket ranges from across the technological and legal landscape, from online fair use of copyrighted materials to illegal government spying. We've made it to the mini links. First up from Wired, we hunted hidden police signals at the DNC. Armed with two rooted Android phones and three Wi-Fi hotspots running CSS detection software developed by EFF, Wired conducted a first-of-its-kind wireless survey of signals around the Democratic National Convention. 
Next up from Slate, expanded police surveillance will get us broken windows on steroids. Forcing residents in neighborhoods with higher crime rates to live under constant, all-seeing digital scrutiny will neither make them safer nor patch up their rocky relationship with the police who are sworn to protect and serve them. EFF's Matthew Gariglia wrote. Next up from Just Security, the UN Cybercrime Convention, analyzing the risks to human rights and global privacy. The treaty's inadequate human rights safeguards and compliance monitoring mechanisms create a high likelihood that the powerful global cooperation tools it creates will be abused, EFF's Katita Rodriguez wrote. Next up from NBC4, Columbus whistleblower lawsuit violates the First Amendment, Digital Rights Group says. Rather than thank this individual for coming forward and actually explaining to the public that this is a significant problem, the city has resorted to basically violating his First Amendment rights and claiming that what he's done is some sort of illegal act. EFF's Aaron Mackey said. Our final mini-link comes from the Register. AI firms propose personhood credentials to fight AI. In a regime where you need personhood credential to be able to log in, this actually seems like a kind of custom-built choke point for governments to prevent certain people from getting online. EFF's Jacob Hoffman Andrews said, And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing or would like to learn more, subscribe at eff.org slash effector. Did you know EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization? You can help us protect digital freedoms online by donating at eff.org slash effect and even grab some of our latest member gear. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.